Okay, welcome back third grade to day two of our chameleon sculpture. So I took the painted paper. Now this is a completely different paper that I've had in the art room. This is not tertiary colors, so I have cool colors, but don't worry about my paper. Your paper is gonna be tertiary colors, taking that primary color and that secondary color that you mix together to create a new color called tertiary on your painted paper. So I took my painted paper and I cut it down to nine by 12. And then I cut another piece to a four and a half by three. Get as close as you can at home. So if you had the big 12 by 18, just fold it in half and then cut right on the half. And then you can take the other half and fold it in half lengthwise and kind of cut it that way. Just do your best. Um, the, 12, the nine by 12 is gonna come in handy for this. If you only worked on a smaller piece of construction paper because it's what you had at home and it was 9 by 12, you have nothing to cut. We'll just have to make something else for the head next time. So day two is we're constructing our chameleon's body. So this is when we're going to take our painted paper and start creating our sculpture. So we need to do a couple things. You need to have your painted paper cut down to 9 by 12. You'll need a pencil, some scissors, and a ruler. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you have your scrap paper from your chameleon, like I cut the other one into a four by, four and a half by three, and then I had two squares left after that. So I just have some scrap paper, which you know, I love me some scrap paper. So I'm putting that off to the side so we might get to this today, we'll see. I don't think your class is going to get to the legs and stuff today. We might say that for day three, but we'll see, okay? So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paper and we're gonna have to go vertical, nice and tall. And I want you to fold it in half vertically. Line up as best you can and do a nice crease. Now this paper is thicker because one, it's usually drawing paper and two, we painted on it, so it's a little thicker. Once you have it folded, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. It's really important that you know where your fold is. So this is my folded side. I'm gonna put my folded side over here and my open side over here because I'm right-handed and I work better this way. So my folded edge is here. That's super important. I'm gonna take my ruler. I'm gonna go from this corner diagonally down to the bottom corner and draw a straight line. Now my ruler is not quite long enough so I'm just gonna kind of fudge it a little bit. So I'm gonna start in the corner and then I'm just gonna draw straight down even that went off my ruler. So now I drew a triangle. I have my open side and my folded side. We want the folded side to be down the middle of our triangle. If that didn't happen, turn it over and try it again, okay? Once we have that done, we're gonna cut through both sides the pencil line, holding that folded edge. We keep this side with the folded edge Now, if you only did a nine by 12 piece of construction paper, that would be absolutely okay because this extra here, we would probably have enough to create your head and things out of. So the two pieces, that scrap paper, and when you open it up, you should have a triangle, okay? So I think it's easier to work without the painted side so you guys can see my, you can see my fold. So we have this fold, so I'm just gonna refold it the other way. So you have your center fold. Now this is where it gets kind of tricky. We've done some folding before, maybe. We're gonna take this edge and we're gonna line it up on that middle line, okay? So it takes a couple hands. I'm just gonna carefully try my best to line it up and you're gonna have it over down here and that's fine. I'm more concerned about the tip. So try your best and you might need both hands to line up that outside edge to the tip. And this is thick paper, so I get it. So again, I went from my outside edge and I had it meet me in that middle. And I folded it really good. Okay, so I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna take this edge, I'm gonna put it down that center fold line. And sometimes I turn my paper, I'm using both hands, I like to hold it at the top and the bottom. And I kind of really have to get it there and bend, especially with painted paper, it's thick, so do your best. This is gonna be the part in class that we have to stop and probably go around Mrs. Cole check a lot of people's work. So mine, when I close them both, 
kind of has an overlap and I my hands are turning green at the top and that's gonna be okay this is my tail we can always fix that later but we want to have a nice tail so when we open this up what we're gonna have is I could layer these on top of each other and you're basically making a triangle okay we don't need that step just yet all right so open it all flat keep your creases in there those are important we're gonna fold it in the middle again okay so I have my middle so I have these two pieces we know have folded folded them so it might be tricky to see so I'm gonna fold it back and make it on the other side okay so these fold lines right here that's our stop line. If you can see that on your painted side, absolutely keep working on your painted side. I just wanna make sure you can see it on my example. So by, this is my folded edge, this is my open edge, and there's this crease right here. I'm turning it around so the folded edge is facing me. It kinda looks like a paper airplane. This fold in here, this crease, is my stop line. This is now I'm going to start creating the backbone or the slits in my chameleon to help it have its structure and its bend for its tail and its back. You decide, and I'm snipping right up to that stop line and stopping. You can decide how big or how small. You can go a little bit over that line, but not too much. I'd rather you go over it a smidge than not go over it at all. If you, go to, if you stop your cut too short, your chameleon won't have a bend. I'd rather you go over just a smidge. I like to keep my cuts like a little bit like a finger, not too skinny, but nothing crazy wide either. So I'm just adding those cuts, trying to keep them as even as possible. When you get down to your tail area, you want to be very careful that you don't cut too much off and actually cut off the tip of its tail. That happens. So I'm just going to go down a little bit and then I'm going to keep some of that tail. So I have a fringe. Okay. You know you did it right when you can still open it up and all the cuts are in the middle. So this is how we're going to put our chameleon together. I'm going to fold it back in half, colored side up. I'm going to take one flap and it's already bitten for me and I don't have my glue stick, you're gonna add some glue, liquid glue or glue stick all around this bottom. And you're gonna take the other flap and put it on top and you're gonna flatten it. So I would take my fingers inside because I now made a little pyramid. Or you can even take your pencil and really give it that massage to massage it down all the way to the tail. Because when you're done, and mine's not glued, you should have your sculpture. And since we cut it a little bit past the fold, it should bend. If it doesn't bend very well, it could be that we didn't have it. Now you're gonna have this overlap right here. I'm gonna leave that. That's gonna help us attach our head later. And if it really bothers you next week, we can trim this off, but that's gonna help us attach. So this should all be glued down. And if we have enough time in class, we are going to go ahead and start working on our legs. I'm going to say we probably aren't going to have time in class today. So what I would like you to do for this week is just to glue your body together. Really get in there and help press it down. Use a pencil if you have to and get all the way to the bottom to really adhere that glue. Um, if you have liquid glue, that's my suggestion. Glue stick may work. Um, liquid glue is a little bit more flexible. So when you're all done, try to take a picture of this somehow. You can pay, take a picture from the top down. You can take a picture of it glued in like this. However you want to take a picture to show me that you got your three-dimensional sculpture ready and glued together. That's it for this week. Next week, we come back on Tuesday, and this is due on Monday. So on Tuesday, you'll get a new video, and we'll show you how we're going to create the head. So don't throw away any of your scraps. All the extra paper we want to keep, so we're going to create our head and our leg, and we're going to take some black Sharpie or maybe oil pastels, and we might add some details to our chameleon. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to also put a handout of the directions too that I just went over in case you need both. So if you have any questions, reach out, let me know. I can't wait to see your painted paper and your community body. And I'll talk to you next time. Happy weekend.